In 1969, David Burleson conceived the idea for his field of dreams and engaged the services of Robert Rowich and Robert Trent Jones, Inc. to locate a site that could accommodate a Pine Valley type golf course. Today's 18-hole golf course just off of Route 91 was finally completed in 1990 and quickly became one of New England's premier golf destinations. This is Every Hole at Crumpin' Fox Golf Club. The first hole is a classic risk-reward par four, a dogleg right guarded by the lone pine right of the fairway. The prudent path is finding the fairway left of the tree, leaving a mid-iron in. Players are introduced to a consistent feature at Crump and Fox, elevated greens. Miss them and you might be in for a long day. The second of 18 signature holes is another short par four that plays entirely uphill. With a fairway sloping left to right, players are challenged on their approach to avoid the large bunker right of the green. The first par three at Crump and Fox plays back down the hill, with club selection being almost as difficult as the shot itself. The fourth hole is another sharp dogleg right playing up the hill with one of the more intimidating tee shots on the course. Players on their approach shot are faced with sloping fairway lies. The first of the par fives presents a vast fairway. Longer hitters will challenge the bunkers 250 to 300 yards from the tee. Once rounding the corner, another uphill approach into a green guarded by bunkers left and right. Miss your approach short and the ball might just roll back down to your feet. The sixth plays as the second most difficult par four on the course. A long tee shot affords you a mid iron into a green that is quicker than almost any other on the course. The seventh is another risk reward par four cutting sharply to the left, with trees along the left discouraging too aggressive a tee shot. If you think that the challenge has begun, you are sorely mistaken. The eighth hole is the signature hole at Crump and Fox. Playing just under 600 yards from the back tees, this hole is a beast. The threat of the lake stays with players the entire hole, as three perfect shots are needed to hit this green. A par at the eighth is an appropriate reward for one of the toughest holes in all of New England. Once you've completed it, you can step back and admire the scale of the property. Bruised and battered, golfers make their way to the ninth tee, where another downhill par three awaits them. This one longer than the third, and likely not a savior for your scorecard either. The tenth is a straightforward hole, but a wayward tee shot can lead to an approach blocked out by the trees to the right. Another of one of Crump and Fox's more slippery greens awaits.
The scorecard will tell you that the 11th is the easiest hole at Crump and Fox. The severe slope collecting short shots will tell you different. The 12th hole has one of the thinnest fairways at the course. Miss it and you might be forgiven by one of the larger greens on the course. Players typically lay up with less than driver on the 13th. After that, they're met with an approach over water. The par fives at Crump and Fox are clearly no easy birdie, but this might be your best shot. The 14th narrows after the tee shot, challenging any player that dares go for the green in two. The hole finishes to the right and once again, challenges the player to hit their approach over the water. On the 15th, you'll hit a mid-iron entirely over water onto one of the more difficult and sloping greens on the course. The 16th is the second most difficult hole on the course. Players will try to find the left fairway in order to avoid the tree's right blocking the green. The final par 5 17th starts with a decision on how aggressively to take on the large pine guarding the fairway. As the hole rounds the corner and turns left, you're challenged by yet another large tree. Bunkers line the right of the green. Miss right and you're faced with one of the toughest up and downs on the course. The 18th hole is the most intimidating tee shot on the course. Encouraging a fade and leaving players with one final mid-iron shot over water into the green. Whether proud of your scorecard or not, you'll at this point have come to appreciate the beauty and the challenge of Crump and Fox Golf Club.